everyone and welcome to Friday Sews. I'm Deb and this is my channel DB Designs and Sewing Australia. I'm going to start off with my makes this week. Now the first thing I made was the Fernbird dress. Where are my glasses? Now the first thing I made was the Fernbird top which is from the Sewing Revival. Now I made this one, because Stacy from Stacy J Studios could not stop talking about it, but it is actually fabulous. And I, this is the pattern here. I actually had that pattern um, printed up as AO for me. So this is the top I made. You can see it's a beautiful viscose from the Data Society and it's called Indra Aster. It's the name of the fabric and it's absolutely beautiful to work with. It's one of those um, viscose that's not the ultra thin type and it's a really really nice pattern. Whoops. The only problem I had is this has got a facing and you all know that I don't really like a facing much but this facing is very well drafted and sits really really flat. I did stitch mine down, see a stitching line there. The only problem I had is it was way too big in the neckline for me. So even after I had, cause you know, I'm me and I didn't try it on when I was making it. And so I had finished the whole neckline, under stitch, top stitched, you name it. And I actually had to take out I think I took two centimetres off each shoulder, which made this four centimetres shorter on each shoulder. And I haven't written it in my book, but I have marked it on the pattern that I have to alter it. And it's a shame because it's such a beautiful top. So I still feel that it's slightly gaping in the neck I've altered my pattern piece and I've altered my facing pattern pieces as well so I'm ready to make the dress now the reason I made um, the Fernbird top first was to see what sort of a fit it would be on me and it's actually a really great fit in the body so I don't want to downsize because I think it's narrow enough on the hips I usually have um the opposite problem but I don't want to make it tight or firm fitting on the hips so I will um, just make that neck adjustment I've already made it on the pattern so when I make a dress it will already have the neck adjustment on it so that was the fern bird by the sewing revival highly recommended I really like the sewing revival um, Patterns. The other pattern I made of theirs was called the flounce dress, um, which I also made in a top. And I've got another one that I've got cut out to make in a top as well. So I've been happy with both their patterns that I've used. Now the next thing I made was the Be Mine Balloon Sleeve Top. By Patton Emporium the one everybody's making and this is my top and this is out of the beautiful cotton broderie on glaze that I got from the Data Society in the in plain air so in plain air um, bespoke box now this is quite roomy in the body and as it's cotton it's sort of a little bit stiffer than just say you've made it in a rayon but really really happy with it really love those sleeves look at that sleeve look how it sits open like that it's so beautiful uh, quite an easy make actually fits me well in the neck I made a 14 in this I made a 14 with the one so it's called 1FBA-2. 
so it was a full bust adjustment but it was bust adjustment dash two because I didn't want to make it any bigger in the body just bigger in the bust area so really really happy with it uh, and I think the shoulders are, are sleeves are right on my shoulders so would certainly be making that again you could actually easily make that into a dress so very nice pattern I have loved seeing everybody's versions of the be mine balloon sleeve so nice such beautiful fabrics around and the next thing I made was the I don't know how they say it in stress I N E S I keep on calling it the inner stress but it's not in us that would be I W N I S um, yes and it's by style art isn't it? Yes, it is. Now I made this in a really gorgeous ponty. And see, this is really a magenta colour. It comes up a bit orangey, but then so does lots of this, and that's actually hot pink. So it comes up quite orange in the um, on screen, and I just had these two buttons in my stash. Now, I actually made the size 14 and I had to take so much out of it. Next time, I would make the size 10. And I was also considering, should, should I have lifted up the waist on it? And so I will insert photos of me in it. And let me know if you think that that waist, well, it's not really a waist, it's a seam line. See where the seam line is and the seam line is on those models. Do you think mine's in a similar place or does it need to come up? I have put a photo in of me holding it up to where I would sort of take it up to. I really like the dress. It's very comfortable as a pointy dress is. Ponty's really comfortable. So really happy with it but not sure and I would I need make a size 10 next time this really is quite big and um should i lift up the waist as well even by you know one centimeter i'm not sure or is it supposed to be sort of across i guess it's across where my hip bones are it's actually not your hip bones it's actually part of your pelvis where your the top part your bones that are there are that's where it's sitting on me whereas my waist is there so I'm not sure. Has anybody else made that in stress? And um, maybe it's in stress. Um, and where did it sit on you? And I'm only five foot four and probably shorter than that now. I don't really know what height style arc make for. I'm sure it's for people taller than me. See that waistline. I do need to take it up because that's not at my waistline. It's oh well, when you look at those photos though, it doesn't really look like it's at a waistline. This image here doesn't, that one a bit more does, but really easy make. Really easy make. Very comfortable. If you were allowed to wear your own clothes to work, it'd be a fabulous work dress. Just saying. Um Yes, because you could have them in multiple colours. You could wear a long sleeve t-shirt under it. I was actually wondering what it would be like with quite a, with a little bit of a longer sleeve, like a three-quarter length sleeve. But I will definitely be making one of those again. I think I'd like a probably a navy one. A navy one for next. Uh, it's probably a good autumn dress. A bit of a transition to autumn dress. Now, the other thing I made... was for my granddaughter Phoebe's birthday. And I made her this 
this little skirt, which I just made up the pattern for that. So it's got a couple of little tiny pleats in the front and then just elastic all the way around. Her mother did tell me her waist measurement, but when I see her, if it's too big, I just open a seam, take a tuck in the elastic and stitch it back up. Don't need a sewing machine to do that. And I made her this full shoulder t-shirt to go with it. It's a really, really nice pattern. That is the Brindle and Twig Tea Tunic. Now, I've had this pattern for years, and I used to make it uh, predominantly for babies. Now, I actually made Phoebe the size um, four to five, and it's a little bit of a swing T-shirt. And so I had washed this, and I didn't dry it in the dryer like I usually would, because her mother, my daughter, will dry everything in the dryer. But I didn't dry this in the dryer, and I actually ironed it before I cut it out, and when I was finishing it, I think I had even done the um, colour stitch hem and everything on it, I found there was a hole in the fabric. You know those weird round holes you get in knit? Now this knit came from Spotlight. And I bought two different types of knit. And this was the more expensive one. This wasn't a cheap one. I wanted something that had really good recovery in it. So I just had to... So I stitched. If you can see... Can you see where that... Uh, yeah, that's where the little hole was. So I stitched it up and sewed one of my DB kids labels on it which I wasn't going to do because I put a label in this that said hello gorgeous for her so this is part of her birthday present I also got have ordered her some labels that say made by Phoebe that she can put in her own sewing so that's really all I've got for this week I am halfway through or nearly finished making the groovy skirt by Liz Taylor and that's in the um, navy gabardine that I got from the Dahlia Society. This is the pattern here. It's a lovely skirt although next time I probably will make it longer. Now it's not really really tight or anything like that. This gabardine's actually got a, a nice amount of stretch in it. But I mean, it's A-line. It doesn't need to be tight. And the pockets have come up a treat. I really wanted to make the one with these big pocket, uh, big belt loops that were part of the pocket. So really, really nice, really easy make. Just a couple of darts on the back. And I've got to put a button on that. And I've got to hem it. And I was going to actually, to keep it as long as possible, I was going to use bias tape on the hem. I don't have enough fabric left to put a band or anything on the bottom of it. So I'll use bias tape that way. You know, we'll probably get away with 7 mil as a, as a hem. So that's what I'll do with that one. But really, really happy with the Be Mine Balloon. Really, really happy with the Fernbird dress. And this is the other fabric that I bought um, when I bought that black knit for Phoebe's t-shirt. Because once before when I bought black knit and it was online from, I want to say Western Australia, it was cotton knit and it just had no recovery whatsoever. And so I haven't really used it. I thought I'd use it for lining for something because it doesn't really get stretched out. I bought this because I was going to make a striped t-shirt to go with my groovy skirt. So I don't know what t-shirt pattern to use yet, but 
whatever pattern it is, I will need to turn the pattern into full pattern pieces, not place on the fold so that we get the stripes right. That's the best way if you want to match stripes. If you make a pattern piece that's on the fold into a full pattern piece and just spread your fabric out single layer, you're going to get a much better result. Then on the pattern piece, I'll be marking, this is a blue stripe. Follow that along, make sure I can match it up on the other side. Because even though you can match it up when you're sewing it, if it's not an exact match, you get that bit of a crooked t-shirt look. We've all bought t-shirts that once they're washed, you can see that half the side seam is around at the front and the other half's around at the back. I mean, it, lots and lots of t-shirts are like that. But hopefully that will avoid that sort of thing happening. I haven't ironed that yet, but I will iron it before I put any pattern pieces on it because I want to do the, the stripe matching on it. And if you remember the wedding dress from last week, they were so thrilled with it. It's actually getting married today. So thrilled with it, they sent me a thank you gift box. So, how gorgeous is that gift box? And this gift box contains body moisturiser. And this, is, and this body moisturiser is from Angel's Creations. A bottle of gin. That would be lovely. A really lovely candle in a hand-painted candle holder. Oh, that smells beautiful. And some room spray. So I will put in Angel's um, website at the bottom of this video. If you're looking for any Christmas gift ideas, they do deliver, they do all of those sorts of things. But this is just a beautiful thank you gift um, from a client who is very, very happy with what I made them and what I changed on her wedding dress and how good it looked. She was just thrilled. So she'll be getting married today, shortly. So before long, I will have some professional photos to show you of her in her dress. So that will be wonderful. Everybody have a great week. I will be back to show you my finished skirt. Hopefully my finished t-shirt and anything else I get sewn this week. I was looking after Mia yesterday, so um, my daughter came and stayed on Thursday night. I looked after Mia on Friday and she stayed on Friday night as well. So I uh, didn't get very much sewing done, but I will be sewing this week. Everybody have a wonderful week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you all soon. Bye.